listen, hey y'all, listen, let me tell you something. I want you prophets to stop saying something's coming. God told me something's coming. God told me to tell y'all to prepare that something is coming. Some, listen, the Bible already prophesied and told us that in the latter days, it's going to be like the days of Noah. See, the Bible already prophesied something was coming. Unless God have gave you a sure word, unless you can say on November the 10th in 2024, this is going to happen. Unless you can prophesy like those prophets did back in the Bible day, when they told you exactly what a dream meant, they didn't say, I think the dream, or I think, no, baby, they was precise, they was to the point, they was accurate prophets. They didn't beat around the bush, they didn't make, they didn't leave you out in wonderland. When they said thus and thus said the Lord, they told you what thus and thus was. So listen, stop talking about something is coming. When God tell you something, guess what? He going to tell you what that something is. Be direct. Be direct. Stop saying something is coming. God is wanting me to tell y'all something is coming to prepare. No. That's not no prophecy, baby. The Bible already told us something was coming. The Bible already told us perilous times was going to come. The Bible already told us to repent and be ready because you don't know the day nor the hour when the Lord is coming. Accurate prophecy has already been made. Now, unless you got something else that's direct, that ain't all out there, you know, we got the wonder. Ooh, I want to know. Unless you can be a direct, precise, and say what you heard God say, and stop talking about something. You need to prepare. You know, it's like making people get sort of uh, nervous and, you you know, about what's coming. But you don't even know what's coming. The most time you don't know what's coming because God ain't told you nothing of what's coming. You basing your prophecy or trying, or trying to prophesy according to what you see happening from day to day. But see, the Bible already told us what's coming. So what prophecy do you have? If you don't have a direct, precise prophet, prophet, prophecy of what God has said, stop telling people something, something coming. What is the something? Stop telling people, prepare for what? The Bible already told us the day you hear the Lord knocking on your heart, answer. So what are you talking about? You ain't saying no, you're not saying nothing no more than the weatherman is saying or predicting. And listen, you might want to stop being a false prophet. This is me talking to you. You don't have to be a false prophet. For any kind of reason, you're going to give an account for every time you said God said. It's being recorded. Every time you said God said and he didn't say, for whatever reason, you declare yourself to be a prophet. You know you're not no true prophet. Ain't nothing came true what you said. Ain't nothing came true. And telling somebody they don't get a check in the mail, and then they got the check in the mail because the insurance policy came a year later, that ain't no prophecy, honey. They got in a wreck a year ago, and the check came in the mail. Stop all this foolishness. Don't don't transition over because you held on to a title of a prophet when you 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 not one. Let God save you. Let God turn your life around because you gonna have to give an account. It is time for preachers, pastors, leaders, people in the body of Christ. It is time to come clean. It is time to get yourself together. If some of y'all ain't even saved and you're talking about you prophesying to people. You need to repent. And this is this is your call. This is your warning. Repent. Come up out of all that line. Come up out of that. Um, I got a title. I'm a true prophet. Because of what? You haven't you haven't never gave a direct prophecy prophecy saying something gonna happen. 
Stop all that. What did the, if the Lord said something, tell us directly when it's going to happen, what day it's going to happen, and what exactly is going to happen. When, when the Lord told Noah, I'm sending a flood. He sent that flood, baby. It was just like he said. Anytime they were pro- the Lord told them something, it happened. And they told you exactly what was going to happen. And now we got prophets can't do that. All you can say is, I feel, I think. And you got to ask people questions about their life. That ain't no real prophet. Mm-mm. So this is just to encourage you. Don't get mad. Agree with the word of God and be, be free. All right. I love y'all. I really do. But let the Lord use you in a righteous way. And stop giving out all these prophecies, honey, that, 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 uh, I tell you what, now I was eating that plate good because there was a piece of rice stuck on my glasses. <laughs> That rice was good, baby. <laughs> but anyway, I love y'all. Let's 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 do better. All right? Because we got to give an account for what we say God said. All right? And y'all start reading your Bible. Read your Bible. Okay? Stop listening to people like Keon Henderson. Keon Henderson told people they need to start reading their Bible. And, and little did he know, baby, if people start reading their Bible, your church might close down. If people start reading their Bible, some of these churches are closed. Now, I'm just telling you the truth. Read your Bible. All right? Toodles.